Hi, this is James Gardner, the Cine Tech Geek, and I'm at the Christie stand. And now we're going to talk about the flagship projectors, the Laser 6P and 3P, and other developments. Uh, apparently, Christie has had quite a few little developments in the flagship range of their projectors. So I'm going to let um, uh, Alan talk about this, uh, talk about aspects of using dual heads and how they are aligned, and things, uh, the technical issues that people sometimes ask about when we talk about these big, large premium format projectors. So let's start off with, um, in your dual head system, there's always been a question about alignment on those systems. And you were telling me before about, uh, between shows, you can actually set a camera to automatically do uh, optical alignment the lenses will actually it's not a, it's not a digital alignment it actually gets the lenses with very small movements to ensure that heat and other issues which would possibly potentially put them out of alignment it will correct them from between show uh, one show to the next is that the story that's correct james uh, so what we use is a, the christie duo system yep. comes complete with a with a camera that's attached either to the front of your your, your port window or the front of the projector and uh, you can set this up to run a, a calibration procedure at the beginning of every day, at the beginning of every show, if you like, and what that'll do is it'll, it'll it momentarily puts up uh, two test patterns on each projector, and then it calculates how much the, the master projector or the main projector needs to move to to line up to the secondary system. So, assuming that the projectors are geometrically aligned during installation, the camera takes care of any drift that may that may happen uh, throughout the uh, the day to day shows. And also, you you mentioned um, you're bringing out um, some single head. Uh, versions of your high-powered uh, flagship proje projectors and there's a new technology can you, you tell us about that so we we, we actually have a, a new uh, laser system it's called the EWD it stands for enhanced wavelength diversification it's uh it can be used it's it's a six it's a sorry it's an it's what we call uh, uses uh, nine primaries so to speak yeah. multiple different wavelengths yeah. um, and it's, it uses that to uh, to reduce speckle That's and right. it's, it's really targeted for uh, screens that want uh, exhibitors that want to retain their uh, their silver screens and their 3d their polarized based uh, 3d systems okay so if, if you basically want to up so basically if you've got a big xeon based projector with big lamps this is the future path in terms of this is if, if you've got a system and that's what it's working and you want to jump to, to laser this is probably the projector you go for and that's correct and, and it'll still d almost double the output capability of the the most the highest powered xenon projector that we have available today so this ewd system will still do 60,000 lumens out of a single head and it accommodates all uh 3d systems with the exception of of the dolby 6p that's right because you need the dual head for that one right okay um well is there any other news on that front that we can talk about um not that i know of um, well, that's that's yeah. interesting. So you you've been been doing quite well with your um, flagship range. So what's the current status on on you know like everyone likes to talk about numbers. Are you, have you got any numbers on that at the moment? Um, we have well over 100 systems installed in the field, um, uh, 6P and 3P systems uh, globally deployment, um, and uh, we we expect to see uh, a significant uptick over the next three to four years in these uh, in these. In, in, with these laser systems, especially the EWD system, because that'll that kind of fits the bill for for uh, uh, exhibitors that can't accommodate a 6P system, whether it's due to the glasses, whether it's due to the, the screen that, that they already have installed. Um, but you know, in the long term, in the next three to five years, we really we expect to see uh, RGB laser projectors that are going to serve a much broader market yeah. in terms of uh, you know the the red and green devices are, are in constant they're in constant state of innovation that's right so we're expecting to see those those yeah, costs we're expecting them to improve over the because the lasers have been around like people say lasers not new well lasers aren't new but lasers are new in cinema yes. and so the application for cinema has to be will evolve and they'll get probably hopefully a little bit cheaper and a little bit more cost effective and um yeah you know that's what we needed to do it's a little bit expensive at the moment but i we all hope that it'll come back down to the sort of top range that we see with the xeon based projectors but it'll take time yes. that would be the, the it's going to take time but i think we're at we're at a cusp now where we're going to yeah. start seeing the technology the, the, the these new laser technologies exist today and and uh, any projection manufacturer that's investing investing in rgb technology has i'm sure they're testing these these new devices and we'll see some some big some major changes in the next uh, the next few years coming ahead and do you think these changes will be more evolutionary and, and uh, will take advantage of your current models and not new models or what do you... I think a little bit of both. Yeah. We'll probably see a couple of new models coming out, but I don't think we'll, we'll be able to port this technology over to our, to our existing uh, uh, lineup of cinema projectors. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much, Alan. Thank you, James. Um,
and good to see you again at you CinemaCon. Too. Thank yep. you very much. Uh, that's James Gardner for CinemaCon 2016 on the Christie booth, talking all about laser, because today, the, 2016 is the year of laser, where everyone is now producing laser product and is selling it this year. Bye for now.